Hey, welcome back everybody. Signing here again with another episode of my 500 day stalker series and 289. 60% roughly, right? Like 58.9 or something, I don't know. All right. We are back in Ash Canyon after a really long time. And that's because there's a lot of stuff in Ash Canyon I want to haul out of here. There's not much reason for me to, you know, come back here unless I'm really wanting a ton of birch bark tea. And other natural resources. I mean, there's a ton of old man's beard. How much of that do I have on me? Let's see. Yeah, we're good for now. After I get everything out of here, I might just kind of make a loop around the region and just harvest up like all the cattails, mushrooms, rose hips, birch bark, all that. But first we're going to head over to Homesteaders. I do hear a wolf up ahead somewhere, but I mean, it's Ash Canyon. There's, there's wolves everywhere. It's stalker Ash Canyon. So there's wolves everywhere. All right, well, let's see. Ah, the deer up there, okay. I heard footsteps, but like it didn't sound like a wolf. Yep, definitely not a wolf. You are stuck up there, aren't you, buddy? All right, I mean, relatively pleasant day. It's snowing out. It's not snowing extremely hard. Got good visibility. Let's check out this ruined house here first. Yeah, I never checked this house. <laughs> I wondered about that, actually. Came through here on another run, and it's like, I don't remember ever checking, you know, actually looking in here. Is there anything else besides just the container? No, there's not even like any reclaimed wood or anything around here. Which is weird, because I mean, like anywhere else I could break that up for planks, but just not this house. Bitter Marsh. Now wasn't the moose... Like, in these trees here. Pretty sure, because, uh... There's a ptarmigan up there at the house. Yeah, I do actually have a good amount of moose meat cooked and ready to go here, so... Got a little bit of water. Alright, yeah, I mean, we're reasonably set up. I guess I could grab more ptarmigan while I'm here. I mean, might as well. It serves really no practical benefit for me at all. I don't need the food. I don't need the down. Oh, I could probably use the down eventually, so. And it's not like it weighs a ton, so. And now that we have this rope here, it's all good. Easy ride up. That's more bow. Thank you. Uh, right about maybe there. Should be a fourth one around here. On Stalker, they usually come in groups of four. 
Found out on Pilgrim they come in groups of six, which is kind of strange. Well, kind of Pilgrim. I was messing around with trying to make the Nomad challenge actually more difficult. And, uh, yeah. I mean, it's possible, but you need tons of mods to make it happen. Two swing books. Oh, hey, cool. We got a granola bar. Got two ropes. Feel it in the cooking pot. We got some dog food. We got water. Hides. Thick wool sweater. Ear wrap. Other set of crampons. Oh, yeah. Tons of stuff here. Almost well, 60 pounds of stuff in this chunk alone. Plus, we've got ropes, and yeah. But, if I remember correctly, I left more stuff behind in uh, performance. You know what, let's go take a nap for an hour. And then we'll climb that other rope. Because it's a uh, quite a bit longer rope, so. No, yep, we'll sleep for two hours. All right, yeah, we got more guts here if I need them for anything. How much water do I have? Yeah, I can probably leave one of those behind. That just dropped another two pounds off my weight, so. Two pounds, one kilogram, you know. All right. And, yep, there's the other rope. There is a ledge up there. Your rest on, but it's right there. So we've got to make, like, 80% of the way up the rope before we can even rest. But I've got a good amount of stamina, so... Let's go ahead and drop some more weight. How much water do I have left? 0.000... 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 you know... 0, 0, 1 gallons or something, I don't know. We've got like a cap full of water left. don't think we're going to have to stop for a rest. I still have my crampons on, so we're still good. I have the Termigan on me still. Dang it. Ah, that's dead weight I could have left behind. Okay, let me go ahead and pick those up. We'll grab that. Well, I can prep the charm again when I get to Foreman's, so. I don't really see anything else around here. I mean, there's some sticks and stuff, but. Uh, I've got 13 sticks and a piece of coal. I think we'll be fine. Alright, well. Anything up here? Oh, okay. Something to see if maybe there was a corpse or something that I might have missed. Well, that's way down, but it's a one way down. Of course, the, of course, you know, look at it. Most cliffs are one way trip down. Just a, uh, a question of how fast. Usually the answer is faster than you want. You know, I'm here. I can hunt a bear again. 
Especially since I'm going to, you know, Foreman's and then Miner's Volley's right there. Probably just grab the hide off of them. There's no point in hauling a whole bunch of bear meat with me. I got some down at Homesteaders. There's probably still some left at Foreman's. I don't think I hauled the entire bear. It's been probably a couple months, so... When was I here last? Desolation Coastal... Timberwolf. Ash Canyon on day 29. 260 days ago. That's, yeah. It's a bit of time. It really is a bit of time. So. There's sometimes a deer around here. I'm tempted just to skin it. Thought I heard footsteps for a second. I hear crows. Flying overhead though, okay. Alright, let's see what we can find here. Surprised the deer's not here. Well, there are two of them here. There's one there, and then there's one right there behind the tree. Definitely a bright night out. I mean, the sun is fully down. And, uh, yeah. There we go. Now it's getting a little darker out. Well, I'm here. Let's, uh, grab that. Well, we got two more deer hides now. It's <laughs> the last thing I need is deer hides, honestly. I, I mean, I guess I could make deerskin pants, and there is a deerskin jacket, thanks to Northfolk. Um, and there's the boots, right? I don't think there's deerskin hat, but we got yeah, coat, gloves, pants, and boots. So, I mean, you can make four pieces of equipment out of deer hide with the North Pole mod. Normally you can only make like two. Which just seems like a waste. I mean, a deer skin jacket, that's like... Very, I mean, settlers and whatnot, that was pretty popular. So, I mean, hell, that was like a Davy Crockett kind of thing. Deer skin pants and a jacket and a coonskin cap. Come on. Thank you. 
uncooperative stick. Hey, just suddenly dropped off there. I almost felt like I was going to jump it, like it was a 80s movie with a car chase in it. That was a thing, wasn't it? I mean, or, you know, 80s, early 90s, you know, if there was a car scene, car chase scene, always one of the cars jumping over it, you know, a hill. Or, you know, both cars or what have you. And then driving on like nothing happened. I didn't leave anything behind here, did I? No. All right, fun times ahead. You know, I should probably back on no point in wearing the crampons and it does reduce my weight a little bit using the gun holster versus you know the crampons we're charming it again okay well we're here at miners the charming interrupt by uh foreman's Is there anything in Miner's Folly? Like inside in, in Miner's Folly. What would I leave behind? Scarf? Okay. There we go. Book. We got you know, spray paint actually that works because I don't have any spray paint. We got gloves. I guess I could take the book. Because I'm gonna need to make some water probably. That's fine, because water is I mean you just leave it behind when you leave. You don't have to take it with you. Empty, we've got newsprint, workbench. Deeper state kit. We have a little bit of firewood here. Okay. Let's head up to Foreman's. Maybe get ourselves some ptarmigan. Yeah, since they're there. Five charming in here. I guess it makes sense the last place only had three, but it does average out to four birds per location. certain I would have grabbed these last time, but oh well. 
I may have just left him behind because I had so many already. <laughs> I mean... Uh, so many arrow shafts waiting to be crafted. Yep, I was right. We do have bear left here. I didn't haul it all out. And damn rope. <laughs> you know, maybe, you know, actually, I can leave that there. Did I not leave any water here, though? I didn't. Empty searched. Leave the tinder behind. Go ahead. Leave this stuff here for now. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed with myself. I didn't leave any water behind. That's... I didn't think I'd be coming back, so... Okay, food. Couldn't have a granola bar, I guess. And I brought a can of banged up dog food with, because why not? Right, yeah, I'll just keep that with me for now. Fire strikers are getting a little low. Eight minutes. I need this to be at least like 40, 50. That'll work. And that should be ready to go waiting for me in the morning when I wake up. Ten hours is probably fine. Potable water. Nice. All right. I'm pretty certain I grabbed everything out of the mine, though. So I'm not going to bother going back into the mine. Just gonna go as far as the bear. I think he's on the other side of those rocks there. And I am extremely stinky, so I still have all these tarmigan on me. Which is a definite plus when it comes to bear hunting. Okay, there's a deer up there. Hey, look, old fire and a torch. Two torches. Well, I can break these down at least and, you know, not leave my trash lying everywhere. Must have been hearing things. I might have been hearing like the trees creaking in the wind or something. I don't know. Because it really did sound like there was a bear grumbling on the other side of those rocks. Unless he went around the back side. Well, for now... 
We're going to go to where the bear sleeps and see if he's waiting there for us. Or if we can run into him on the way. Not too windy, so we can start a fire if we need to. Do, 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 do. Yeah, the wind's died out even more. Cool. That's good. There's nothing worse than starting a fire to try to kill a bear with and uh, have the wind pick up and immediately blow it out. The bear might not even be here, which would be really weird because it's been like 260 days. I'm not seeing a bear. Okay. So he might be out and about wandering around here somewhere. I do love the views in Ash Canyon. It's just the weather is often such crap that you can't see him. Hey, there he is. Right up there. So, can I... Maybe... Because he hasn't detected me yet. He has not turned towards me. There he goes. Okay. A little too close for me to use that fire. You are just very fussy, aren't you? Grumble, grumble, grumble. Come on. Yeah, yeah. I know. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Both shots just right next to each other. All right. Um, perfect. That'll work. Yeah, I don't need the, any of the meat or anything else, so. Non-potable. I mean, I guess I could carve off a steak real quick. I am getting a little on the hungry side, so. Um, things to do. Did 
Don't look at me. Start eating. Or you can wander close to me, that's fine. Just the one deer around here? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Which water do I have on me? 0.8 gallons. Yeah, we're good for a while. wood. thought that was a burned out torch at first. It's like pleasant surprise. More wood than I thought it would be. Okay, so we didn't really leave a whole lot of stuff up here at uh, Foreman's. Just some bear meat. Didn't even leave any charcoal there. So I guess we can head back to Homesteaders now. Well, let's head back up to the foreman's here. It is just afternoon. I could burn the rest of the day. Cook up a couple pieces of bear meat and harvest all these ptarmigan I've got on me. I've got eight of the birds on me right now. That'll take quite a bit of time to get all the feathers off of them. That's probably not a bad idea. Okay, anything in here? No. Nope. Okay. Place that down, cook that. Forty two minutes. Hey, perfect. I don't know why I'm bothering to harvest ptarmigan meat. I'm not going to cook it up. <laughs> Probably shouldn't bother. It will get rid of the bird, though, completely.
And let's see, this last torch, yeah. I mean, it's pretty decent. But, eh. Not too worried about it. Okay. You can go over there, then. Sounds like a good idea to stay inside with the way the wind is whipped up outside as well. I don't know why I'm using a knife, though, to pluck down. Seriously. You don't use a knife to get feathers. You're not shaving it off the bird, really. I mean, I guess you could. It just seems like that would make a hell of a mess, though. Well, I'm thirsty now. Oops. Oh, well. Not too concerned about it. Is that an Aurora? Looking at the windows, it might be. Oh yeah, no it is. Well, it's a good thing the bear's dead. Alright, speaking of bear, I should probably have a chunk of that. All right, so I've got three pieces of bear meat. Oh, wow. Got a potato. Game on me. Wow, I mean, that's... Damn, yeah, no. It's horrible. Could not have done that. It's a potato. I don't know what I'm so worried about. All right. Let me go ahead and pick up the cooking pot now, so I don't forget it. Everything else is kind of whatever, but the cooking pot and the lantern are going to be the most important. Nine hours should be fine. Man, nine hours of sleep in a stretch sounds really nice. Okay. Eat one of these. Get for a potato. Fine. You got water in your backpack, Astrid. What are you complaining about? Okay, there were a pair of leather shoes at uh, Miner's Folly. I mean, I could grab those, I guess. Check for feathers around the bear, too. Since, you know, we're right here. You know what? Got that, too. more? Okay. I mean, that's two arrows worth of feathers. A 
the one bear, so. It's honestly not, not horrible. And we've got... Was it in here I saw the other shoes? Or no, it might have been... Yeah, it's probably back at Homesteaders I saw. Okay. No worries. Moving on. Alright, gauges are all good. A little on the tired side, but eh. Not the end of the world. Yeah, it stakes I'm not too worried about. But yeah, everything else is doing great. I mean, we are a little windy. Means the bridge is going to be more fun, but it's not the end of the world. Alright, sweet. Why are you here? Didn't I just harvest those? Uh, who knows? Be really weird if the deer's back. We're almost day 300 and animals should not be respawning all that quickly. I think we're looking at like 40 or 50 days per bear now. It's like 20 days per wolf. I can hear the crows, so they're still circling that uh, deer. Almost a bear. <laughs> and walking into the wind is always fun. Do 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 do. Give this check while we're here. Three, four, okay, four more. Something's going on with the saplings. Both playthroughs now have been regenerating saplings really quickly. I have no idea why. All right. I have 28. Yeah, it's pretty strong wind. Campfire. Is there anything up here at all? I mean, I could go up that way and go check out, what is it called? The High Meadow? Then there's two ropes and then we gotta go through and yeah. I'd rather not. A lot easier to get to homesteaders, just continue along down to a fire overlook and down the rope. If I go the other way, then I gotta go down and into Butter Marsh and then climb back up and no. Not to mention it would take, you know, most of a day to do the other route. 
And considering it's just barely before noon, then I would be dead tired by the time I got there. It would be dark. My odds, you know, odds are it'd be a blizzard going on. At least with my luck. And, uh, yeah, I'll pass. Hey, look, it's a rope. I don't see anything else up here. I mean, it's just sticks. I'm not worried about sticks, so. I'm not going to need a ton of firewood, unless I decide to go ice fishing. But if I do that, then there's going to be a lot more firewood down there. Hey, look, you can see the uh, little fishing huts right there. House is there. I think the moose is, like, over here-ish. When it does spawn in. Then there's the other location it can be, which is north here of Stone Shelf, between Stone Shelf and Wolfjaw. Well, here's Wolfjaw. Yeah. But now I'm not going to worry about it. I could take one load from Homesteaders down, at least to the bottom, because that way I can start loading it into a Travoy. At least get it to the zone transition. Because you can't haul a Travoy through a transition, unfortunately. But, uh... I should be able to do it. I mean, really. I mean, if need be, I can take a bit of a nap before we try it. Chop those up if I want. I don't even need to go down the rope, honestly. But I can go down here. Fresh bear. Got some running shoes, good. Yeah, I figured there'd be something important hiding in here. <laughs> Who's hide? one piece of coal, but that's fine. I'll have to make a second trip for that. But that's that's okay. Is there anything else hiding? No. Worst case scenario, I can sleep in the ice fishing shack. I've got enough coal and everything else to make it through a night without a problem.
There we go. And we are down. Is that a rope on top of that? That is. How many ropes are there in Ash Canyon? Seriously. See, I know I picked that up, and that up, got those, and those. I must have picked up the running shoes and forgot I picked them up. Oops. That's on me. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay. Do you have water here? I got food. Let's take a peek and see if the moose is around. We play hide and seek in the trees real quick. And then off camera, I'll probably zip up there, grab what's in the trunk, and bring it down as well. See, it reminds me. I should check. Ash Canyon, Foreman's Retreat. There's food. Angler's Den. I'll have pot and tools behind. Okay. Homesteader's Respite. Did I grab the revolver? That's in the uh, the thing still. Okay. There we go. And they don't stink, so the wolf shouldn't be coming for me, really. Not really hearing anything. Let's say they shouldn't be coming for me, but that does not mean that they're not already, like, right here. Here, puppy, puppy, puppy. Literally right there, huh? I knew he was close. I didn't think he was that close. Ah, uh, it was on me. You know what? We're gonna uh, we're gonna splurge. But he's gonna die.
Um, yeah, I'm not going to bother tracking them down. I'm like, do I really need another wolf hide? And I'm like, I think I've got at least eight at uh, Mountaineers. So I think we're good. All right, well, where's our moose at? Yeah, I don't think our moose is here right now. Haven't heard him anyway. All moose in this game are males, so. Females don't go, you know, don't grow the antlers, so. Yep, nope. I think last time I was here in Ash Canyon, I saw... Hey, he died. Cool. Um, <laughs> got really excited about that. Yeah, he's right here. Uh, we had a moose at both locations. Did I? Well, the moose meat's here, but I had to hide up at Homesteaders, so it must have been down here. I wouldn't have hauled all that meat down the rope to leave it at the angler's den. That just would not have made sense. Are there any more feathers? Mm, just the one? Okay. Yeah, I got a little too happy and excited over that moose, that uh, wolf just keeling over right there but, I mean he really he just ran off and died right next to me so I mean you don't have that happen all the time Where are you at, Moosey? Yeah, no, I don't think he's here. Probably over at Stone Shelf right now. That's a shame. But I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed it. And until the next one, this is Sign signing out. Have fun.